Yo, what's going on, sexy Samalander squad? I'm back from my vacation. What's the first thing I get to do? Play a brand new God in Smite. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right. I'm just going to build some random items just to get some power. Um, and go beat some like ages, whatever. And now I will do where's that cooldown? Reduce cooldown. Okay. So here's what Morgan LaFay does. When you use your one, I'm just gonna go straight into it, by the way. You can skip this section of the video if you already know what uh what it does. I'll put a timer up to skip it right there. Uh so you know what time to skip. Two. Anyways, here are the abilities. So the one, uh, and the, I'll get to the passive after, by the way. The one is three different things that you have the option to do. If you use your one, your first option on your one, it's going to hit and fear enemies away. If you use the second option of your one, it's going to hit and slow them down. Obviously, they're not moving. So, Oh, sorry. They're not moving, so you can't see, but you'll see it here. It slows them down. And the third version is going to spawn a version of you to attack the enemy. A decoy version of you to attack the enemy for four seconds. It's pretty sick. But um, normally you're probably going to be using the two or the one. Uh, mainly the one for self heal because I think that's really important. The two is honestly the simplest ability she has. It is a knock up and then knock back. So you do this, knock up, knock back. Pretty simple. Knock up, knock back. It is a rectangular cock and ball. Uh, if you hit the balls, it's a knock up. You hit the cock, it's a knock back. So there you go. That, I mean, that's that's literally it. That's all it does. Nothing special. Um, And then the three is really cool. So the three will go through enemy minions i guess i can't show you that but it will go through enemy minions and deal damage stopping at the first god hit i'll just show you what the ability looks like it's kind of that like try symbol throw thing um now this you might notice it gives me a buff down here it gives me movement speed 24 percent increased movement speed as well as it doesn't actually slow you down when you're casting the ability so it's very nice to use to uh escape so you have a lot of self peel you know you can drop a fear down knock up knock back and then you got a good run you know you got a lot of self peel which is nice but that that's not the only thing the three does as you can see it does a lot of shit um so the one obviously if it hits boom ouch it slows um or it doesn't slow i'm sorry it does tick damage Okay, yeah, it does tick damage. Right there, as you can see right here, the 44s after the initial hit. And if they use their movement ability, like let's say this Odin were to jump, he would take an additional bonus damage. Let me see if I if any of these guys over here have uh of things I can show you. Right, so Neath, Neath, right. So I hit Neath with the three. If she backflips, she will take extra damage. If she backflips, she will take extra damage. If she backflips, she she took extra damage. Okay, let's try let's try let's try that again. If she backflips, she will take extra damage. All right, there you go. Now you saw it. Get away from me. Um. So there you go. Uh, if they use their movement ability. They'll take extra damage. It's a dot. Um, and it's got its initial damage on it as well. That's pretty significant, which is nice. So now we get into the alt, which also kind of ties into the passive. Here we go. Get ready. It's a big one. You see this mark. Or you see it on the sword. Or you see it down here. Either way, there's a lot of ways to see the mark. If you hit the three, boom. That's what the three mark does. You hit the two. Boom. That's what the two mark does. You hit the one and your one stance. You get one of those hit the one in the two stance you get one of those and you hit the one in the three stance you get one of those now i have all of my sigils active 
What does that mean? My sword is glowy and sick as fuck, right? That's just what it means. Um, it, it, it gives you a huge buff. Just That's just how it works. So, let's read it. Morgan Le Fay's abilities marks enemy gods, also activating the shared symbol on her sword, providing magic power once her sword has gained all five symbols. Morgan Le Fay becomes empowered, gaining double magical power buff and reducing the cooldown of consuming power, her ultimate, by 10 seconds before the symbols are drained. So, you see right here? It doesn't matter, right? He doesn't have any, but I have one on my sword. That's the main, that's the most important thing. Right? So you see all these symbols getting added to my sword. So now I have four of them. When I get my fifth one, watch my magic power go from 600 to 660, which I think is bugged, but whatever. Doesn't matter. It's, it's supposed to double your magical power. And you get... 10 seconds off your cooldown so it's pretty sick now we go into the cooldown i guess i'll just show you it big ass cone um if you use this cone on someone like this with no marks on them it won't do any damage it won't and then you become this and you can slice three times you get three slicey mcgees right Seems pretty simple. However, let's just add all these. Get all my symbols on this boy. So now I have all five symbols on him. If I use the cone, it will rip all five of those symbols off and deal extra damage. You can see here. And it will make my attack wider. My, my, my slicing wider. By the way, you can have three... Uh, devastating strikes i'm using it pretty slow so it kind of seems like you can't but you can let me just add these back and i'll show you so you can you can slice them pretty quick by the way it's not it doesn't need to be slow um now you might notice my lotus crown is, is procking that's because your alt heals when you use your alt the mark damage 85 per mark obviously fucking overpowered 85 per mark um and you know you can put five marks on that target so that's going to do a lot of burst damage your projectile hit but then it has missing health healed now what does that mean you might ask well i'll show you i'll show you what that means let me just spawn as many people as possible eat my ass neath Now we wait. Alright. Now that I am relatively hurt, I will alt and do this. And there you go. You saw my alt heal me for about 140 per H or poor per hit. Um now if I show you here. You can see the healing gets reduced per enemy I hit, right? Per enemy I hit. Um, I wish there was a way to take damage, like really significant damage and not heal at all back immediately. Maybe this guy could beat my ass for a second. Man, wouldn't it be embarrassing if I died to this guy? Okay. So, you see how low I am, right? This is how much this motherfucker heals. We'll just use it on, on one guy right now. Just to make it simple. Yeah. Yeah, that was about 700 damage heal. However, it's not always going to be that strong. So what it does is it heals you for a missing percentage of your HP. So the higher HP you are, the less it will actually heal. The lower HP you are, the more it will actually heal. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's it's not balanced. 
<laughs> but it could be perceived as balanced with a few tweaks with a few tweaks and obviously sub subsequent heals per projectiles reduced by 50% because if it wasn't that'd be ridiculous um but yeah so that's pretty much all of her kit thanks for sticking around with me I know this was a longer one um a longer kind of kit discussion but it's really cool it's really cool also throw this in real quick she has omni movement with uh with her alt which basically just means she can move in all eight directions like up and the sides and all this stuff without any kind of movement penalty so she can backpedal and attack with her alt um at normal movement speed so good to know all right see you in the game yo boys all right so hopefully you guys got through that um that whole kind of 10 minute introduction of her kit how to use it and how to combo it and now we're getting straight into the game to kind of showcase it and um we'll show you what you can really do when you're not hitting level one odin bots but instead hitting you know my own personal beat up bot norscroft I'm going to make a completely separate video, by the way, on this map. Um, because I know I when it came out that they were doing this, I got a lot of messages. So many messages because, you know, I'm the oldest dual player, not like age wise, but like content creation wise. I've been doing it the longest, you know? Yeah, see, he doesn't even know what map this is. I was fucking born and bred. On this map I know everything there is to know about it just being honest um so I'm really really excited I'm gonna make a whole new video on just this map and what it I guess what it means to me and and how to play it and how it might shift the meta but more of that to come later right now we're just gaming also, fun fact uh, that I don't think I mentioned in my explaining video. When you're auto-attacking somebody that has the, the debuff on their 3 up, like if I hit Norsecrove with my 3 and I auto-attack them, I can actually prolong the, the dot damage that is on him. All right, don't know where he is, but. All right. I'm going to cut the path off with the slow. Dot him, knock him up, and knock him back. And keep those dots coming with my auto attacks. I feared him towards me and alt just rip those out dude now you might notice my alt doesn't heal on minions and uh if you notice that congratulations you're right the alt only heals on enemy gods hit so it's not the best i mean it's definitely not the worst either but you know not the best but yeah, you can use this fear on your one um, aggressively as well. Kind of like you do with Hades, you know? Look at that damage. It's just ridiculous. Uh, if you land the, the one behind, it will fear towards. All right, all right, all right. Alt down, alt down. He's going to take damage, but not enough to kill. Oh, close. Alright. I just used the slow on the minions here so that I could kind of gather my breath, slash my cooldowns. Perfect. Huge kill, huge kill. So what you can do, like I like I was saying, you know, in the other section of the video is you can kind of place as many of those marks on your enemy as you can 
and then we'll just try to burst them down that way by ripping off the marks or in the case of what i just showed you poke them down slowly using the same abilities rather than trying to stack the marks and that um that's also a, a great way to try to hold on sorry i'm dying a great way to try to win the fights as well so right here obviously i'm just gonna mark that path off with a slow and go back because i have so much gold i'm gonna actually just forego boots completely and get chronos pendant because i can and he's doing the same thing so why not um and yeah i mean i just think like now that you know all i guess of her kit and how it works and interacts and bursts and you know whatnot i think now we need to talk about the feel of the god you know because like a lot of times the kit is not good or the kit is too good but the god doesn't feel good to play and then you can't you just can't play it you know you can't get into it honestly i think her auto attacks feel horrible um if i'm just completely honest like i really do think her auto attacks are, are awful um they're too slow the projectile speed is the the animation is cool but it, the the speed of them is just so slow and the projectile speed is like you can never catch you can never catch anyone like you just you just never will be able to catch anyone off guard with it um so i don't like it i think the god itself is great but i don't know it's just my two cents and you know take it how you will but hold on sorry i want to get this mark on her and this one too all right now i am very close to winning this fight rip off all these marks and heal and do damage nice all right big damage big damage uh i think maxing the one instead of the two is definitely the play by the way i don't know why i wasn't but yikes um but yeah her auto attacks feel not very good her one feels really good to use honestly i think the size is really good um and the speed of the the projectile feels really good as well the three feels amazing like the three feels just like every other ability in smite you know it, it feels like a, than a thanatos scythe when it hits you know it, it really feels like it's it's powerful which is what you is what you want in a mage by the way so i think that's that's good um the two uh okay i love the two like i adore the two just the thought process behind making it and, and everything like that um what i don't like is actually fucking using the ability because it, it so okay how do i put the you know um persephone or old persephone not new one old persephone when you use the one and it's like there it's the same thing with this you can't you can't control it afterwards after you press the button which I know is weird that you're allowed to do that with some abilities in the game. But as a mage, it just feels more um, manageable, I guess. When you're able to do that. And it's a lot nicer. So that's why I don't like the two. I see you there. You don't scare me. Alright, I'm not going to rip off any of the... Um, Yeah, I wasn't gonna need to rip off all of my sigils in order to get the kill there. That's good. Yeah, now the, the map I'll talk about, you know, after this game uh, in a different video, but it does need to be talked about. I'm very fond of this map because, you know, I got rank one in this map and it was super exciting for me and... You know, like, and I understand it's not that for a lot of other people. You no, know, it's like that pretty much only for me, actually. 
Um, but I do quite enjoy this map. Repulse those sigils. Get the heals. All right. Repulse the sigils. Get the heals. Get the damage. Get the kill. Um, if you didn't notice there, my my passive actually went off, which is why I decided to ult. Alright, through the wave. Yeah, you see how easy it is to kind of peel? scared brother oh I need the mana give me the mana Ooh. damn didn't have the mana form and in, in the PTS by the way I don't know if it's like this for everybody. Um, well, actually, most people don't play the PTS, but for me, when I play the PTS, my uh, my left click, like my auto attack button, doesn't work all the time. So that's what happened there, by the way. In case you're wondering why I wasn't just rapid firing those shots off and getting the kill, that's why because it wasn't working. I was clicking. But that's okay. I don't need that kill. My ego, my ego is fine. Oh, also, uh, worth noting that I don't think I've said, you do actually, that little circle at the end there, if you hit, you know, enemies like that, the tick damage does still work, but it only works in that little circle. Um, and that circle goes closer, like if I hit this wall here, those gods will take that tick damage, or enemies, sorry, not gods. It will take that tick damage. So I guess the best way to buff clear with her would be probably to drop your one and then shoot this at the wall for the dot damage and then knock it back and clear with autos. It's probably the most efficient way. Oh, that hit me. God. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> wow, that was a lot of damage. Just activating my ult. Just activating my ult killed him by ripping the sigils off. So here's what I really want to test if they fixed it or not. You used to be able to kill the Titan by standing back here. Yeah, you still can. Okay. That's not good. I hope they fix that. Because if they don't, we're going to be in for some shit. Okay, so I think the Titan aggro's to you. Hold on. All right, rip off all those sigils, do some good damage to her. All 
Okay. So I think the Titan aggro's to you even if you're not um in sight. So what ha what used to happen with in in this, you know, map is you could just kill them over the wall. Like with Poseidon you could use your 3 and your 1 and your Kraken. And because you weren't in sight of the of the Titan, it wouldn't aggro to you. But it seems like they fixed that. So even if you just step in the circle to poke while yes there is the wall there to you know that the titan has to get around i think it's still good uh, because you know that poke damage you do will be healed not all the way obviously but you know a little bit of the way i just missed my three All right, nice. So now we win the game. Just get those sigils on. Slow them down. All right, there you go. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. And like I said, it's 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 exactly to the point where like. If you get an aggressive fear, it's it feels so strong. Get in there, minions. Get in there, minions. Not easy to play against. Yeah. Yeah, definitely is not. Definitely is not. Oh, nice cinematic. Dude, that wall looks fucking sick. That wall looks so sick. Thank you for that. Hope you guys enjoyed my first look video on Morgan Le Fay. It was much more informative than others because I feel like she's really intricate. Like uh, Tiamat was weird because her alt would turn. It was like kind of like a tier situation, you know? So there was like, ah, eh, you could combo this. You can combo this, do this. But like this one, like mages are my shit, obviously. Well, it's weird because I have every assassin diamond, but like I got a of mages more i have more play time on mages than i do assassins but i have all assassins doesn't matter what matters is that it's dope as fuck and i like this character a lot um it's gonna take a lot of getting used to for us me using my two like i said i think the two is a little bit weird to use the alt also doesn't feel very powerful when it sucks the sigils off i think maybe um maybe instead of doing damage maybe just slow them down percentage and each sigil is like an increased slow to make it easier for you to hit those scythes because i think that would make maybe make a little more sense in terms of her kit with with like being able to be like a kind of control mage while still staying in the center of the fight overall though i really love the character design i really love the abilities and the way they're put together it makes the combos feel really significant and uh and yeah yeah that's that's pretty much it for for Morgan Le Fay, let me hear your thoughts on her in the comment section. And, uh, I love you guys. Peace.